Hello, future friends. Thank you for tuning into our show on our new night and time, Mondays at 6.30 PST, Pacific Standard Time. And no one was super close to being late getting here. Uh, <laughs> we are Mistakes Being no Made, a live play Dungeons & Dragons show from Portland, Oregon. Uh, also, our prior sessions um, are being stored on Twitch for only for 14 days, which is coming due for a few of our sessions. Um, if you're new to the show and you want to look into our past episodes, you can find them on our YouTube page and all of our contact information on our Twitter account, which is at MBMRPG. And currently, our show schedule has been updated. That happened yesterday. Um, additionally, we'd like to say thank you to a few uh, groups and individuals for helping make our show better. Thanks to Action Shield for their fantastic combat risers. Yay! Thanks to Yay. Dwarven Forge for their amazing dungeon terrain. Yay! And thanks to Sirenscape for their awesome soundscapes. Uh, lastly, um, we should go over our, the players and their characters. Uh, Mike, who are you playing tonight? I am playing Cirque. He managed to live last session. He is because, he, barbarian. because you were cheating. I, you were cheating. I... Screw it up. up. You Always up. check player math on AC. <laughs> yes. <laughs> AC is 16, not 18. Doug, who um, are you playing tonight? I'm playing Zeno, Zeno's High Hill, uh, halfling wizard uh, with aspirations of being a pirate captain. Okay. Uh, Adam? Who are you I playing? am playing Corvin, uh, warlock, uh, sloppy drunk, and a filthy general person all in. All. Okay. Yeah. All right. Frank? I am playing Ren. Furbolg Druid, who believes nature, survival of the fittest. And can transform into a bear. Yeah, I've heard that. Apparently. <laughs> oh, that who enjoys unfair. honey <laughs> and thinking. <laughs> Howard? I'm Howard, and I'm playing Sarsarel, the submerged, the chosen champion of Umberly. Okay. Uh, missing tonight is Aaron who plays Vaziago, the tiefling bard. He is in the process of switching his schedule to Monday nights. Uh, we will be filming a special episode with Aaron, Adam, and myself that will be airing later this week. We have not determined exactly when that's going to be airing, but if you pay attention to our social media, I'm sure you'll be able to see it. Um, we will be taping it in advance, so unfortunately there will not be a live live stream, but we will definitely be posting it on Twitch and on YouTube. Um, and it'll be going up this week so that everything is current. So uh, when last we left our heroes, uh, they had defeated a dragon. Um, and they were able to save some dwarves and head back to the, uh, the town of Squall. During their journey... Our journey was fairly uneventful, um, but when they got back to town, uh, Vaziago got pulled aside by the dwarf named Craig, who had a message for uh, Vaziago, and they left promptly afterward. Um, the rest of you, when you return to Squall, what do you do? Tavern. Um, I go to the temple, and I tithe my 10%. <laughs> Okay. Naturally. Obviously. Is that why you're the chosen? <laughs> chosen of the bottom of the pyramid for the scheming? That's, that's not how this works. <laughs> oh, okay. I was if I don't give my offering to Umberly, she's not going to bless our future missions and quests and adventures, and, and we're this, all going to die. And this mess. She's not going to bless sea. this mess. Not I would listen. imagine that we'll all die when nature has decided that it is time. That's Umberly. Oh, it was almost, it was almost time gross. for you to die it's last like week. manipulate nature. <laughs> hmm? If we can manipulate nature well enough, that won't happen. Um, I'm going to go mm. look for the sage to learn about how to manipulate nature some more. <laughs> See sage lawn yager? Yeah. Okay. I was gonna, we were going to get up after, <coughs> get together after the uh, boat race, but then I got summoned to... It's true. You know. It's true. Okay, so you, as uh, so Xenos heads to uh, See sage lawn yager, mm -hmm. who is uh, staying with um, Shambeckler, the wizard. Perfect. So uh, Shembeckler, for, um, for those who may not remember, lives in a wizard's tower um, in Squall, right off the bay. Um, and you go, and mm -hmm. what do you do? Um, well, I... Do you take anybody with you before we start with what do you do? Anyone want to come Nobody with likes you. I, I was going to go. All right, well, come on. I was going to go see the mage in the tower. Okay. All right, so, so we'll go, go together. That's Shembeckler. She stays in the tower. That's her tower. 
<laughs> so you go to the tower mm -hmm. and knock on the door? Yeah, I knock on the door. Okay. The door opens. Take a step behind him. Uh huh. And then use my invocation to clean myself up and okay. look like I have nice clothes on. Nice. Then Good I'll job. Step back forward. Okay. <laughs> so the door opens. Um, it opens apparently on its own accord. Okay. Um, and uh, you go in. Mm -hmm. um, as we've kind of described before, so the base of the temple, or I'm uh, not the temple, the base of the tower is just uh, bookshelves uh, on a circular uh, surface. Um, and then there is a stairway up and a locked door um, that leads below. So um, the... Mm. Set the locked door for later. <laughs> um, the uh, there is a voice in the the base of the tower that says, uh, "And who are you here to see?" I was catching up with the sage. Okay. Um, and it says, "I will announce you," and it closes the door. Okay. And you hear footsteps walk up the stairs. Uh -huh. um, you hear some muted voices. Okay. Um, Do I hear how I'm announced? Uh, that pirate Xenos is here too. Captain. Captain B. Captain. Cap well, yeah. Captain. But it was, yeah. We'll practice it out a little. Try it a little bit. Captain <laughs> Boy. Captain in training. Okay. Yeah. How does it sound? So you're uh, his a few minutes later. Um, the unseen servant comes back, escorts you up, um, and uh, you're escorted to the second level of the tower, which is kind of a sitting room um, okay. slash uh, arcane studies area. Um, and uh, Cisage Jan Lager is there. He is dressed in his rough spun robes, um, long scraggly beard. Um, and uh, Shem Beckler is also there. She has on a fairly elegant um, looking um, dress, not a gown, I would say, but a dress. Um, deep emerald, and she has a rough, uh, or I'm sorry, a red head scarf that she wears, and you've seen her wear in the past. Um, and what do you do? Well, um, I apologize for missing, because I'm pretty sure that we've had enough times gone by that. When we've I, had several days. So yeah, so the Sage and I were going to get together the next night or something. Right. And so I apologize for missing that, and yeah. uh, just said I wanted to catch up and. Talk about the uh, the boat race and mm -hmm. you know and um, I also want to talk to them a little bit about that black dragon we saw. Okay. Uh, to see if they might have any. Uh, Do you remember the black dragon's name? Of course I don't. It's Future Flag, in sails. Shadow what? scale. Nightshade. Nightshade. What was it? Night scale. Night, night scale. scale. We got. You almost got it. Shadow scale. Night scale. I mean, you know. Frank. Frank's got a definite motivation because that dragon killed his entire tribe of fur bulgs. I guess. You yeah. got half the name right. <laughs> and we want a black flag. So. Yeah, I want. I want the flag and the uh, sails. So okay. I'm just thinking of a future you know, flag and sails. Right. <coughs> um, well, they're more sure. interested in hearing Sandwich. more about your uh, adventures under the mountain. Okay. And they are talking about the boat race that you were yeah, makes involved sense. in. Makes sense. Um, um, so, do you relay what happened? Uh, generally. Um, okay. Probably uh, elaborate more on, on Xenos' contribution to things. Okay. Um, <laughs> I mean, and, you definitely uh, make yourself seem much more important than you actually right. were, right? Right, uh, absolutely. Okay. All right, cool. Well, you're sober? <laughs> That's unfortunate. <laughs> and unexpected. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the guard are like, hey, we haven't had a clean room out of the gutter today. What's going on? Are you feel In a couple of days. In a couple of days. Did you take did you take some drink with you when you when you left? No. I, I got a twenty on my deception to, to make it sound like I was more important than I really was. Okay, well they're suitably impressed. Um, um yeah. Right. And then uh, describing the encounter with the black dragon, ask if they have any uh, suggestions and ideas on how to defeat a black dragon um they say uh, usually spells works. good what specific kinds of spells um, any that i can look at da damaging ones helpful they are so helpful. <laughs> I think what high level 
Major, he gets you. <laughs> Fire, <laughs> Fireball really? is good. Um, also, close. Lightning Bolt. Uh, disintegration, if you got it. Um, that That's helpful. Um, something to... Uh, definitely not acid stuff. That's probably not going to be ideal. Against, against a black, a black dragon. dragon. Black dragon, yeah. With and the I 17 know. Arcana. Yeah. Corbin's like, I would focus maybe on... Um, some ice-based spells because it's aquatic and maybe you could trap it under the ice, oh. but that would be me. Can I go look at your library now? <laughs> I'm going to go at him. Library sounds a lot more useful. They're, they're actually more interested in hearing uh, about uh, the dragon. Wh who did you say the dragon was associated with? I uh, said so it was associated with being uh, a flag for the pirate ship. Ember, Ember oh, Flame. Gosh. Oh, Ember Flame, yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. You're kind of one track minded, aren't you? <laughs> Sometimes. Still in the task Sometimes. at hand, Sometimes, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Sea Sage Jan Lager perks up at Ember Flame. He's like, wait a minute. What? Yeah, we uh, saw this, uh, that uh, dragonborn looking fella, right? <laughs> the dragonborn looking fella. The dragonborn looking fella. <laughs> the hobgoblin. And you saw him because. Talking about Arkhan the Cruel. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah okay. Arkhan, Arkhan the Cruel, that's the one. Yeah. Okay. Well, so. Um, Blondiaga recognizes Emberflame. Uh -huh. uh, Shem Buckler recognizes Archon the Cruel, and she says he is a lieutenant of the Cult of the Dragon. Those, yeah. those who serve Tiamat. Tiamat. Uh -huh. And whatever ill works he's doing cannot be allowed to come to pass because of the danger to the realms. Um, and... Uh, Lon Jogger says, I think I remember something about the Ember Flame, but I would, I would need to consult my, um, bones. No, my not his bones. bones. His, bones. <laughs> his yeah. books. Chicken bones. Back in Emmerich's hold. Nothing. To fully. I mean, we know where they, we know the island that they're at. Yeah, the volcano. Yeah. Okay. Um. You know it's a Red dragon. Mm hmm. Of immense size. Yeah, red dragon. That they send a ship here with a black dragon mm -hmm. and them in the hold. Okay. Yeah, and then they were going to hit a couple other islands around here. The Do you know where they were going to hit? Yeah, specifically. Uh, Ru <laughs> Ruby Island. Um, oh, the they island were going to hit the, can't, the can't. Ruby Island. Wasn't that what it was? It was an island that had a ruby beam. It was shooting up into the sky. It's a beam of light, yes. Yeah. So I, think, I think it's called the Marvel's Finale Island, where you have a beam of light shooting up into the sky. Also most of okay. the movies, too. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, and then there was some another island that had uh, lizards and savages. Lizards and, and savages? And lizards? That's what my note says. Large lizards and yeah, savage I mean, humanoids. Yeah. You mean, I, I don't remember, but... Yeah. <laughs> like here. <laughs> <laughs> Like so the, uh, the sea sage is troubled by this, and he says that he's he needs to consult his books. Um, so he needs to return to Emmerich's hold immediately. Okay. okay. Um, and then a dwarf and a tiefling come in. Who invited them? Wait, is it Visago and Craig? Yeah. <laughs> huh? And they're they building. Well, we had to wait for. Permission to cut. Yeah. So, yeah. Right. They knocked. He okay. didn't. He just didn't. They weren't announced. That's all. Spread. Um. So, uh, Craig didn't wait for uh, them to be announced, uh, and he says, "I've got important meeting with Schembeckler, and uh, coin to discuss." And so she says, "Well, if you've got coin to discuss, I, you guys want to see the library? Why don't you go downstairs to the library?" Um. So. A short time passes. And that's Visago and Craig. Yeah. A short time passes. You hear the sounds of a spell being cast. Um, and then Shem Beckler comes down. And she says, um, Lonjager, Vaziago, and Craig have returned to Emmerich's hold. And um, was there anything specific that you wanted to see in... Uh my library? Yeah. I'm looking for pre-founding of Cormier heroic myths. Okay. It's kind of specific. Like what years, though? 
Uh, right before the first company came. Oh, okay. All right. So she she looks um, and she offers you to go ahead and uh, make an investigation check. She offers, <laughs> she offers for me yeah. to make an Go ahead and make an investigation check. Is, is she, she helping me? She says, or yeah, she's, she's, it's she's, not very well indexed. She says, go ahead and, uh, go ahead and look. Um, we have had a problem with halflings coming in and putting books where they don't belong. So. Oh. I can believe that. Uh, I got a 20. <laughs> you got a 20. Natural 20 or nope. just regular 20? Regular okay, 20. so you do find... Uh, she actually does have a book on uh, pre-founding Cormier that uh, that looks like a book that you might be interested in. All right. Well, then I will pull out a small little block of wood, about a big. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing? I'll turn. It kind of looks like wood you would whittle. Okay. Right? It's got notches and stuff in okay. it. I turn the end and slide out a pair of glasses. Okay. <laughs> Are you, are you afraid that Xenos is going to call you a nerd? He, he's going to steal all my stuff. I've seen it. He's already <laughs> tried to pick my pocket. That's true. <coughs> he tried to pick my pocket that one time. It's not my fault. And he's been charged with two felonies. <laughs> so um, I put those fault. on and then twist the cap back on it and then I'll start going over the top. Okay. Uh, is there anything specific that Xenos wants to see? Um, well, I... Ideally, I wanted to pick some brains for uh, spells, but um, that would be useful against the Black Dragon specifically. But since no one seems to be in a sharing mood, um, she's willing to share spells with you. Is she? Well, then that's for a price. Okay. Yeah. How much are what are spells going for? Uh, she says I will share um, spells with you for twenty-five gold pieces a level. Okay. That seems like a pretty but, good deal. Since you know we're talking about the Ember Flame and this Black Dragon that wants to destroy sure. you know, life, universe, and everything, Would, wouldn't it make sense to I don't know share more freely since <laughs> you know, it's for the benefit of everybody? Why don't you make a persuasion check. Oh, oh that would be a twenty-two. And she says 22. the best I can do is twenty-five gold pieces. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow! <laughs> Natural twenty for that one. Natural twenty. <laughs> but your well, bonus is like too. So. Do you want to Still, roll an inside check? Sure. And you're halfling. Well, so what does that mean? I get half my person. Should be better. Should be double. Um, my insight is an 18. Uh, your insight tells you that the going rate for spells is about 50 gold pieces per level, and she gave you a good deal. Half off, right. pretty good. Stay yeah, well. half off. It's not as good as quarter as uh, two. But, but you're a halfling, level. not a quarterling. All right, fine. Fine. 25 yeah, gold pieces per level for. <laughs> yeah. So I guess I'll peruse her spell book okay. to see if there's anything that... Okay. Um, are, is there sp something specific that you're looking for? Um, not sp Nothing comes to mind that I okay. don't have. I just was curious what, okay. what she yeah, had. If they had any recommendations. If they Americans. had anything in specific that they would recommend for combating a, combating black, a black dragon. dragon. Yeah. Um, an army. A level two. <laughs> level <laughs> an army. Armies are good, And yeah. not a fur bulks. <laughs> She says, honestly, Don't um, make me sad. <laughs> any damaging spell that is not acid would be good against a dragon. Protection from acid. <laughs> Protection yeah. from acid. Um, I, I have that. Don't she stand has in the breath a stand for that spell. That's a bad <laughs> use of that. Um, there you still is, get hurt behind her. <laughs> she has it's identify, she has sending, she has a bunch of uh, direct damage spells that you can look up in the player's handbook. Okay. Um, and she's willing to uh, barter with you. Oh. Um, why don't you, were you, were, he, were you here, no, you were not here when, um, when. The first time we came through. Corvin was here the first time. So why don't you make an Arcana check for me? All right, that's uh, 14. Okay. So you notice um, something that uh, Corvin, escaped Corvin's um grasp and that is that she does have a series of tattoos that are down the base of her neck um, and they seem to be of an arcane nature okay um, and you would know that um, that the red wizards of Thay um, are frequently heavily tattooed with arcane tattoos okay. um, and then you remember that you've never seen um, 
Shen Beckler without her uh, head wrap. The red. On. Yeah, the red head wrap. Um, which you always kind of assumed that she just kept her hair up most of the time. Uh, but it is a common thing for red wizards to have a shaved head. Um, so, <coughs> do you want to make a history? Are you trained in history? I'm not trained in history. Okay. Are you trained in history? Okay, you guys can make it make that at another time. I don't think you probably want to be talking about it. Be like, look at her scarf. I want to. Do you know what that means? <laughs> so. Okay. Um. So, was there any anything else that you wanted to? Um. No, I, I guess I just peruse her spellbook and keep in mind anything that looks interesting. I might come back later. Okay. Um. Because um, I've got a couple other spells. In another spell book, I need to spend some time copying over as well. So. Sure. Um, she says, um, if you have no further questions of me, I'm going to go ahead and um, do some communications upstairs and, um, you know, study some arcane uh, tests that I have gotten process. So, okay. Um, and she takes her leave of you. Okay. What do you do while she's gone? Well, I guess the next stop would go check in with the captain. Okay. For me. You keep reading. <laughs> oh, well, I guess if she's gone, I might ask you if you happen to know anything about... Just... Hold on, let's see. Did you hear her say something? <laughs> yeah. I couldn't say. I've been meaning to ask you about that. That's 20 again. A 20? So you would know that the Red Wizards of Thay um, are led by a lich named uh, Zaz Tam. And that... Um, mm -hmm. They, their goals have kind of changed from period to period. They, uh, at, one, at one point, had ideals of world domination, um, and then they have kind of been arcane uh, power brokers um, uh, as of more recently. Um, they do value necromancy over most other schools, but they, they have... Uh, Red Wizards of every school. Um, and they are a very close-knit group. So um, you can take to mean that when she was going up to do some communications, she was probably going to communicate to other Red Wizards about what your findings were. Because she seemed interested in um, what you were doing previously. Which also means don't piss off one of them. Eh. You can do whatever you want. Okay, so that's you guys. Yep. Um, Howard, you were going to head to the temple? Yes, I was. Okay, so you head to the temple. Excellent. And you tithe how much? How many gold pieces? 10%. I tithe 10%. Which is how much? 30 gold. Ooh. So Abernathy greets you, and she says, Oh my gosh, I'm so happy you're back. Um, I was worried about you uh, because it seemed quite dangerous, and I had... Um, I had the weirdest dream that you were on an island, um, an island shore, and um, you were looking at this island, and I was viewing you from a great distance, and you were looking into this beam that was blazing up into the sky. You don't say. I do say. Well, what do you think it means? I think that's where you're meant to go. That's where Emberly is sending you. Don't believe that. Don't believe the hype. <laughs> I think that's probably true. I don't think that I'm ready to go yet. Not directly there. Yes. Okay. Because the last time I was on an island and it was this one <laughs> and it was underground and there was a lake, mm -hmm. there was a dragon. There was a dragon? And I saw it for all of half a second. Before it vomited <laughs> acid, it vomited on you? acid onto me. A black dragon, and I passed out, and I thought I was gone for sure. But, but clearly, you, Umberly you has you survived additional that. plans Ooh. for me. So clearly, so fortunate. So yeah, you drown in acid. Clearly, the... um, she asked you to tell her more about your experiences under the mountain, and I don't know about the dwarves, and that we tried to honor the dead by. Burying them and she appreciates that. Didn't want to disrespect their stupid god. Yeah, Morden. <laughs> that, that dumbass. I mean, dumbass Morden. Disrespect, disrespected in their presence. 
Um, yeah, she she kind of scoffs at burying the dead underground because clearly the only way it's such you, a waste you just return of Earth. to the sea, and then the uh, coral and the fish life the feed right. on them. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, return them to the circle of life. So um, <laughs> she says that underground she says sea. you're stronger than you know, and she has faith that whatever Umberly has planned for you, oh. you will be able to accomplish. Well, thank you very much for that. <coughs> Anything I missed here while uh, while I was saving uh, dwarves? She says the acolytes have been slacking since you left. They really have not been um, up to par. And um, I'm gladly she, whip she, their butts into shape. <laughs> <laughs> she says that's exactly what is needed. All right. Well, I'll go downstairs and make some persuasion checks. <laughs> okay. Crack the whip a little bit. All right. Um, she. That wouldn't happen yet. Okay. Okay. So next up, Rennie. So uh, I'll go. I'll um, pick up some equipment, and then. Um, What's your plan for equipment? Like, where are you? Uh, are you gonna go to Corpos? Is that who usually? Who, He's the general store. That's where. I'll, wherever I can get, I need a uh, a couple of healing potions and some studded leather. Oh wait. I do. Can I ask the? Can I ask sure. Abernathy a question? Sure. So I have a I have a technical tithing question. Okay. So we were paid two hundred gold for what we were assigned to do, okay. but uh, through various looting, <laughs> members of my party increased the amount of gold that we received. Really? So I actually received three hundred gold. Now I tithed thirty gold, but a <laughs> hundred of that really wasn't my gold. And then the dwarf king gave me this lovely mithril armor, and I didn't say anything at the time, but I'm, hasn't happened yet. Kind of, yeah. oh. <laughs> but I'm kind of feeling bad about this extra 100 gold. I don't know if I should use it for my own purposes, or if I should just donate all of that to, to the She church. says that 30 gold should should suffice all right. for Umberly's needs. Perfect, okay. Yeah. Just didn't want to, I wanted to get that off my chest. <laughs> She appreciates that. That's a weird weirdo. <laughs> mm -hmm. so, you, so, so you head to Corpos. Okay, so. And you know Corpos. Keep a secret to save my life. That's legit. Or anyone else's. <laughs> I get that. So Corpo <laughs> is the halfling <laughs> merchant in town. Um, he he is uh, proprietor of uh, Corp Corpos Good and Sundries. Um, and he sees you walk in and he says, Ah, are you back for some gambling? I say, no. no. That's not my thing. He looks disappointed. I would figure. I say, yeah, I need to pick up some wares before I get the hell out of the city. Okay. <laughs> so, um, armor, studded leather. Studded leather, okay. And you then can, a couple of healing potions. Some studded leather. Uh, Mike, can you look up the price of uh, the regular healing potion? Yeah, 50. It's 50 gold? Yes. All right. Yeah. There you go. There you go. He offers you 50, he offers it to you for forty-five gold pieces oh. because you guys have done Squall a great service. Yeah, excellent. Um, so, I say, yeah. Have you anything going on around town? Oh, uh, we've been waiting to hear about your return and what happened under the mountain. Um, no dwarves have made it back yet, so we're all very concerned. Uh, they should start to trickle back. We had to kill a bunch of goblins. Oh, it was goblins. Yeah. All right. I hate goblins. Yeah, they're fairly foul. Yeah. They disrupt the balance of nature. That's right. That's right. You sure you don't want to gamble? I say no. Thank you for my wares. Okay. <laughs> Good day. <laughs> I'm going to go and seek out the little kid. Reggie? Yeah. Okay. So I'll find him. Mm -hmm. It is trouble. Yeah, I know. <laughs> He's like, hey, Red. I say, um, how's He's it going? He's the only one in town that doesn't call you Rennie. <laughs> I say, um, how's it going? Been staying out of trouble? Yeah, it's only been a couple of days since you've been gone. And I know you. That's why I'm asking you if you've been staying out of trouble. Yeah, I've been fine. Is there anything uh, of interest of... Any points of interest? Um, not particularly. Um, they, uh, he says... Uh, uh, Kurt Ray has been bothering uh, Botho, but that's kind of... Normal. Normal. Um, and then... I think the Tempest is re making um, ready to set sail. I don't know where it's happening, but other than that, things have been kind of. Everybody's been waiting for you guys to return. Cool. So, 
Yeah. Thanks. And then I head towards the edge of town. He's like, look for the info. <laughs> <laughs> My man. <laughs> <laughs> and then he does the super coolest of uh, of handshakes. <laughs> and then uh, I'll just head to the outskirts of town and commune with nature. Okay. If anything happens along the way, on my way to the outskirts of town, I'll pay attention. Otherwise, well, I mean, a few people are appear to be watching you, but being a furbolg and the only furbolg in town, that's not yeah, out of the norm. That's one might expect. I don't know where they are. I think they're in the closet. Oh, what do you, what do you need a battery for? The um, I don't think you do. I think you just need to reset the... Oh, I've done it. Okay. I just changed the battery. So. On the mouse? Yeah. Oh. So, um, yeah, that'll be it for me. And then okay. I'll head to the outskirts of town. Okay. Chipwreck? <clears throat> I am at the tavern. You're at the tavern. Okay. So, um, you're at the uh, Sea Witch's Respite? Yep. And are you drinking away your money? Or what's, all of it. what's the plan? <laughs> it's not all of it. a lot of drinking. <laughs> that is a significant <laughs> amount of drinking. Um, so you're drinking. Yep. Um, while you're drinking, um, <laughs> probably a couple of hours into you drinking, yeah. um, a uh, you feel a tap on your shoulder, and uh, Batho is there. And oh, Batho. He says, he pulls you aside. Um, We're good at him. I changed ports. He pulls you aside and he um, he asks you about what happened under the map. You let him know. Okay. It's a black dragon. It almost killed my brother. This is a black dragon? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I like when you bring that up. People are like, oh, so we thought y'all was just going to kill some goblins. <laughs> yeah, we killed, well, that's all they knew. Was we goblins. killed some goblins, some hobgoblins. Um, there's some there's a, a dragonborn there that was really pissed off. A dragonborn? Yes. He what color dragon? He just started drinking and talking. Is he, I can't he red. red. Red? Red. Um, very, very mad. Okay. I love his descriptions of shit. <laughs> he's um, mad. He's very mad. Weird. He's angry. Very mad. I don't think he says, he's a barbarian, though. I think he's just mad. He says, I have something that I need to tell you. Okay. Um, drink? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> he takes a drink. Uh, he says, be careful not to draw too much attention to yourself. And watch out for your brother. Okay. Um, Why? Well, these goblins seem to mean business, and it doesn't seem like that's the last that we'll, that you'll see or hear from them. Um, I don't know about Squall. Um, and you guys are destined for greater things. You are wise, Bottle. Thanks. <laughs> that means a lot. That means a lot from coming you. from a dumb barbarian. <laughs> I'm not you, that sir. dumb. Um, so, yeah, he says that's it. That's all you need to know. Okay. Um, and More he, drinks? yeah, he, he will <laughs> drink with you. Drinks. He will drink with you. Um, so, uh, <laughs> Howard, as uh, Sarsarel is cleaning up around the temple and kind of the grounds itself, um, a familiar figure s seeks you out, uh, and you would know him as Kurt Ray, the captain of the guard. Yes. Um, and for the viewers at home, he looks like Neil Patrick Harris <laughs> with a very fancily waxed mustache um, and a somewhat British uniform, um, British Navy uniform. And he says, uh, he says, Sarsarel, I just wanted to thank you for all the good that you've done to the town with getting rid of those goblins. Word has begun to spread of your deeds. And, um, you know, we just all admire you here in town. And um, and thank you very much for all of your, uh, your hard work. And this is kind of throws you aback because uh, Kurt Ray is kind, kind of a dick. Yeah. <laughs> About, about town, like he I always, mean, it's nice that he's finally recognizing the blessing always, that has been bestowed upon me. By he always Amberlin. picks on uh, <laughs> on Botho, 
Like, right. And um, it's, it's just, it's kind of weird that he's uh, singled you out. Uh, but it's, it, I mean, he's very sincere in his, in his talks. Um, okay. So was there anything, well, we'll get back to you two. You guys um, were had, or about this time or have finished up your research. Did I find anything in the book on the sword? Uh, no, you would not have found anything in the book. How about how long <clears throat> were you researching? As long as it took me to get through the book. A couple hours. Okay, so in a couple hours, um, I would uh, transcribe uh, invisibility. Okay. For 50 gold. 50 gold. So Anybody see you do it? No. <laughs> Yeah, he doesn't know because there's an unseen <laughs> servant that is permanent. Yeah, <laughs> walking around. For Shimbakuli's tower. Uh, is that it? Is that the only one you took? Well, for two hours, it would take me an hour. It would take me two hours, hours to long transcribe long. that one. So right. I'll come back for see invisibility and comprehend languages <laughs> later. Okay. I see a theme there, bro. Important. <laughs> it seems important to be able to see what's invisible, but also. To be invisible. To be invisible would be useful. Be invisible is you apparently mean, more important. You mean yeah. you can't just. Be invisible? No, not without learning the spell first. His mm. class isn't as broken as some classes. Weird. It's not his class, it's his race. <coughs> oh, whoa, yeah. fine. <laughs> <laughs> My yeah. bad. Wait, you can just turn invisible? Yes. I haven't needed to, but I can. <laughs> I haven't needed to. I like that. Well, you know what's funny? We wouldn't know. <laughs> so I guess that's true. When necessary. <laughs> when yeah. necessary. Invisible when necessary. Um, okay. okay. So you're going to come back. You, yeah, I figure we'll come back. Is there anything that you two wanted to do? I put my glasses away. And I close the book and I go put it back where I got it from. Oh, good. I'm like, and Zenos, do you put the book where you got it from? No. Yeah. He tries to. Right. <laughs> I don't really see him being the whole clean up after yourself no, kind no, of guy. I, I, like, I shove. <laughs> it goes into the shelf, roughly where I found it. Um, <laughs> And her Wait, whole thing about unseen halfling. servant. You, yeah, you can fix that. Um, we need to go to the. I want to go check bar. out the captain. We need to captain? go to the bar. The captain's probably yeah. at the bar, but um, no, this was a complete waste. And I turned. And I started. I <laughs> dropped <laughs> the invocation. This is not a complete waste. <laughs> I dropped the invocation. Okay. I'm like this library is not a complete. Shit. And I walk out. The Look, it's not the. This yeah, library, right, much like sleeves, yeah. is bullshit. It's bullshit. <laughs> what's, the, what's the checkout policy on that part? <laughs> uh, no, there's no checkout policy. <laughs> I'll just check this one out then. No, no. Right. Well, I mean, you can try to steal it if you'd like. No, no, no. Yeah, no. I want to be invited that back. Uh, yeah, that um, seems like a bad idea. So, no, I want to go, I wanna go try to find uh, the captain. Okay. Uh, so, captain is easy to find. He is at his home. Mm -hmm. um, and Where I left him. Right. <laughs> Yeah, it's not where you know, left you, him. It's not, you don't put well, him in. Last a, time I saw him, he was sitting at home. Now, well, he's no, last, home. technically, last time you saw him, he was at the, the uh, festival. festival where most of the village was. Um, so, he's at home. Okay. Um, he, uh, you knock on the door. I'm mm -hmm. assuming. Yeah. Uh, he lets you in. <laughs> That's my. No, no, no. Uh, I'd be in the habit of knocking on his door. <laughs> okay. So he lets you in, uh, and he asks of. Uh, of what you've seen and what you've done. I tell him a bit about what, what I've seen and what I've done. Are you going to deceive him? Of course I'm going to deceive him. <laughs> oh, jeez. So that's a, that would be a 15 on my deception. To, again, I'm puffer, a little bit of puffery about my role in it all. He knows you fairly well, so he knows to scale back <laughs> what, what you say. 20% 20, 20 of what you say is... Just Exaggeration. I'm in the phone. Oh, there was a colossal black dragon, and I single-handedly slew it. Nope. Well, now it got away. Otherwise, I'd be, I'd have the flag, and you know that would be cool. That's true. Um, I, I asked him how the uh, the first mate's doing. If he oh, ever got uh, out of the water. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Remington. Yeah. He um, he says about Mr. Remington. You probably <laughs> want to be nice to him the next time you're out at sea. Why would I want to be nice to Mr. Remington? Because I he you did not him. appreciate. Um, what you did during the boat races? What? He's still on. He's still on the crew. Yeah, he's what? the first mate. But come on, he couldn't even command a rowboat. Listen, <laughs> he couldn't command a rowboat. Just saying. He says, "I'm. I wanted to talk to you about that." <laughs> yeah. Um, he says, "I am getting up in years, and um, I, I know. You, you know, need, you need an able uh, successor. I do need an able successor. Are you and thinking you we're not exactly?" <laughs> 
Not helpful. <laughs> Search the man for the job. Not helpful. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to see what you thought about Sir. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's... He's a good meat shield. Can't <laughs> sell in the rigging. And, and then Zenos has a stroke. <laughs> uh, no, he says, he says um, I, I have been thinking about who to choose as my successor for the ship. Um, and it appears Mr. Remington has the majority of the crew. After that but I display? see something in you. And so I would like to give you the chance to a prove little something. To <laughs> prove yourself. Absolutely. Um, so just give me a chance. So the next time the tempest sets sail, I want you to take command. And, My pleasure. Um, I will talk to Mr. Remington and he will be your first mate. And Okay. Um, if things go well, um, <coughs> hopefully you will win some of the crew to your side. I'm a very likable guy. Of course, I'm sure course you are. Like. Sure you are. I can throw um, board anybody. That hopefully, like your Stop comp- laughing. hopefully your competency <laughs> shines through. Um, I have no doubt. When so, so is getting underway again. That, that would be the next question. <laughs> where, where? <laughs> Right. And the Adobe Adobe. Herbert pops up. <laughs> <laughs> like, are there, are there plans for the Tempest to uh, to go anywhere in the near future, Captain? Uh, he says we had readied the ship, okay. uh, but at this point we don't have a destination in mind. Okay. Do you have a destination in mind? Um, well, the... there was a um, bunch of interest recently in going to where the Sage just teleported back. Emmerich's Hold? Emmerich's Hold. Um, okay. Is that the place it, with the red beam of light? No. No, no Emmerich's Hold is the cap, no. the capital like of the pirate there. islands. The, the uh, place with the red beam of light would also be of interest. Um, I happened to, you know, I was talking to some uh, hobgoblin pirates, and they were talking hobgoblin about... Hobgoblin pirates? Yeah, they were talking about a couple of places that would be interesting to, uh, to visit. Okay. Um... The Dude. island with the beam of light being one of them, and okay. then I would describe the other, other two islands, so the three islands total that we the learned three about. Three islands total that you learned about. And say that perhaps the volcano island is not the first one we go visit. He says, you know, typically people stay away from that island. Well, that, yeah, you'd the, be giant, good to, the, the red dragon and all. <clears throat> you'd be good to stay away from yeah. that island, honestly. Well, um, for now. I mean, once we get a ship, though. I mean, once... Once the crew's practiced up a bit, then maybe we can go visit the uh, sure. volcano island. But not Once sure. Once have a fleet. If you want to die thing. by fire, you certainly can. Um, I not would yet. prefer you don't take the ship there. Uh, <laughs> he says, um, as you describe the two islands, mm-hmm. um, he says that the island that you're looking for, uh, the islands that you're looking for, are Lorath and Lor- Lith. Lorath and Vlith. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Lorath is the um, island with the ruby light, um, okay. and he's, as he's kind of going over this, he's got a, a nautical map laid out, okay. and he points to Lorath, and, he, and that one is closer, okay. uh, and then he says Lith appears to be over here, and it's probably a couple of days sail between the two islands, okay. and about five to ten days sail, depending on weather, to uh, Lorath, so um, okay. So he kind of gives you. So it's about two weeks to get to the area, and then a day or so in between them. Correct. Well, with your permission, Captain, I, I'd like to take the the Tempest and go explore this area and see what's what's over here. He nods. All right. That sounds great. I'll uh, I'll get the crew ready, and we'll uh, take off uh, first thing in the morning. Sure. <laughs> or you know, afternoon. Okay. All right. All right. And so. he, he says dismissed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you're sure he's not senile? <laughs> At this point, leaving him in charge, <laughs> that's a legitimate concern. <laughs> um, so, I mean, you know, you give enough, enough rope and something happens. Something. Mm-hmm. Something, something happens. Something's going to happen. <laughs> Clearly that? something's going to happen. Um, okay. So, was there anything that anybody else wanted to do before uh, Corbin's nodding yes. What do you want to do, Corbin? I'm going to get just blistering drunk and gamble some of my money away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll watch that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, when you, do you show up to the bar at all? Yeah. I tell him, you need to catch up. 
Oh. And there's a whole <laughs> row of them. <laughs> oh. Done and done. <laughs> so, time to go to work. <laughs> by the time Kurt Ray finds you, he's expressing his admiration to a partially conscious being. And you can roll a wisdom uh, saving throw. Let's say let's call it a saving throw. Okay. <laughs> 10. And you remember talking to someone with, who had really nice boots before you vomited on them. <laughs> <laughs> and he, at this point, does not have any more admiration for, <laughs> for Corbin. But he had a good time. And um, roll uh, 3d6 for me. Seven. Okay. You lost seven gold pieces. Sure. Um, and... Other than that, you did fairly well. You, you wake up in the gutter, but that's where you wake up. So, <laughs> <laughs> just throughout, as I'm like doing the mugs as I'm going down, I'm like, you know what? No, our deal doesn't cover this, and we're done. Nope, I have found something. <laughs> I look for something, and no more voices. Not tonight. Not tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Um, the voice is talking to you, <laughs> talking to you about um, uh, the island with the mine. And it says, I think, mm. like that mine? would be... That was Lith, right? That was Lith. Lith. That sounds like the most ideal place to go next. Mm, does it? I hate when you do this. <laughs> <laughs> you stop listening to me once you start this. I continue to talk, but it's like talking to a potato at this point. <laughs> potato and mostly cheese. Vodka, mostly vodka. So, um, so, yeah, you get sloshed. Quite sloshed. That's, how's that going to play into him wanting the crew to be ready by morning? By first thing in the morning? <laughs> Well, I mean, you can just load him into a wheel, wheelbarrow and put the wheelbarrow. Nah, on because I'll be back in. Helps. I'll be back in town in the morning because I know where to find him. And yeah, it's right out of the uh, Sea Witch's respite. Yep. Um, in the gutter. So in the morning, a little indentation I like to call home. Where they, where they dump the dirty wash water. Swap. So in the morning, it's a free shower. I come along and I'm like, yes. <laughs> in the morning, I grab you by the collar. Can you roll percent for me? Okay. Twenty-seven. Okay. Uh, why don't you make a constitution saving throw as well? Ooh. Four. Okay, so it rained over the night, and you wake up thoroughly wet and sick. <laughs> There's only one way to fix that. <laughs> <laughs> you warm up, <laughs> but you are still sick. All right. So are you guys boarding up? Before, what are you doing? Before uh, this happens. Where nobody you, tells me. Wait, where? I know. Nobody tells well, me. Well, Xenos would go around and try well, to that's find my, That's my ditch everyone. The crew. Yeah, well, well, you, I mean, Cirque is part of the crew. I would find Cirque. Well, when I'm done drinking, I go protect him because that's oh, what yeah. I've been told to do. That's right. No, great. Your drunk brother shows up. I'm here I'm to protect drunk. you. <laughs> so I'm, the evening, the I'm evening, fine. Before, <laughs> before the evening ends, yes. you get found by Crag. Excellent. Crag Stormcleaver, and he says he thanks you for saving his dwarves and returning his money, all of the money, as far as he's aware. Um, eh, and I mean, <laughs> we returned Don't what correct. we could. And he he pays you the gold that that you. Um, he says here's all of the gold. The two hundred. No, he pays you all of the gold. Oh, for the whole party. Yeah, for oh, the whole okay. party. <laughs> and he says, "So I have um, two thousand. <laughs> no, it's, it was twelve hundred. Twelve hundred because it was two hundred apiece. Yeah. yeah. And then he um, he says that he has an additional gift, um, and he grants you a set of mithril armor. Um, it's a kingly gift. It is a kingly okay. gift. It says you can wear it under your clothes, and no one didn't know." Mm. That Which would be great, part. because that keeps my whole sea foam green thing going. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he says, if you give us a day, we'll dye it sea foam green for you. That sounds great. As far as I know, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> you didn't tell him? 
He says, <laughs> okay. To him yet. You know what? And I don't Come know. to the Smithy the next uh, you found me yet. tomorrow at midday, and we will have it ready for you. Perfect. I'll you be there. I gotta, I'm finding everybody. And off he goes All into right. the night, riding his ram. <laughs> You're probably going to have to send the kid to find me. <laughs> so, <laughs> how long before I make it to the church? And then you shortly see, after. You see Craig riding his ram away from the. Craig or Craig? Craig. 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 Oh, the Craig's the, the actual king. Craig's the actual, actual king. I. Salute and <laughs> tip over as I do it. Uh, he laughs. laughs. Bye, guy. <laughs> Whose like, name I have drunkenly I, forgotten. Well, let's see. Craig or Craig, and I don't want to insult the man. Okay. Uh, when you go to pay, pay your bar tab the next day, it's been paid. Oh. Well, that's nice. I yeah. give you your 180 by, gold. By Craig. <laughs> Where's, <laughs> where's my 200? <laughs> <laughs> well, like, are you gonna tie it up? Really took the ten percent. <laughs> I do not worship. That's Umberly. awesome. Well, it doesn't matter if you worship Umberly. She's gonna be responsible. You for know you're the going to get killed, ship. right? <laughs> what are you talking about? You work for pirates or work with pirates, and you just took twenty gold from all of them? I didn't. No, I gave it to Umberly. <laughs> <laughs> so you took their money and you gave it to Umberly. That was a reward for their good. Work. Well, yeah, and I, I tithed. They do not worship the, Umberly. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't matter. <laughs> then they're going to take your money. It's fine. Okay. Sir, it's two hundred gold. I give you hundred and eighty. What's gold. their name? <laughs> it doesn't matter what their name is. <laughs> <laughs> so we all get hundred and eighty gold. Yeah. Out of our two hundred. Yeah. No, I get oh, two hundred gold. Well, I mean, so you got two hundred and eighty, really, though, if you think about it, because it's true. I wrote down three hundred gold because that's what I got. <laughs> Are you going to take it out of his, his hide? His hide. No, I take it out of the, the, the box. <laughs> the <money goes. laughs> Just maybe when I'm not looking. Yeah. Like, okay. oh, that, oh, that stack of gold over there? That, I take my gold. <laughs> All right. That's fine. Stealing from a church. So it's my next. money. <laughs> so, so what do you... What is you're never meant just to go protecting, in Cirque's just protecting his brother? Yeah. Uh, against himself. Apparently. <laughs> that's a good idea. Did he get my gold too? No wonder he needs protection. Oh. Is high good for you or bad high for you? Good. <laughs> Did Sirk get Zenos' money too? Hey, 56%. Oh, good. You like <laughs> Okay. Should we, should we try? No, oh, sure. So did Sirk remember everybody? Two. No. <laughs> no. You talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you won't remember how much code you're supposed to get anyway. I bought you drinks at the tavern. <laughs> I mean, it's not like I counted out. I give you a bag of gold coins. <laughs> there you go. Here's yeah, 180. I feet. count it right in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> 180 gold pieces. Where's my? It's the same amount that I got. Where's my gold? That's it right there. This is 180. I know. It's what everybody gets. No, we get 200. Right. And then you tie to Umberly. No, we don't. I don't know what to tie you. You owe me 20 gold. <laughs> There's a stack of gold in this box in the church. Sir, what? But that is Umberly's gold. Hold it's on. You can I'll be right do back. This. And I go in and okay. pull 20 gold out. Okay. And I write a note. Do you want to, do you want to make a sleight of hand check or are you just doing nope. this? Nope. Okay. <laughs> open it. I write a note. Pulls what's, it up. What's the note say? That he owes the church <laughs> some gold. So I put it in there, and I close it, and I come back out, and I'm like, problem solved. <laughs> see? see? Everything's fine, sir. I don't All know right. what you were worried about. Okay, right. fine. So you guys reconvene, <laughs> yep. I'm assuming, at the respite again. I mean, honestly. For breakfast, they make a hell I of a breakfast. I still have 180 gold left for some reason. Well, Vaziago, Weird. you're holding on <laughs> for Vaziago. Oh, yeah, I've got Vaziago. He's the one who will kill you. Definitely <laughs> <laughs> kill you. Definitely kill you. Yep. Um, He's watching at home right now, I think. He got off early. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. We can talk about this Coming on Wednesday. your way. <laughs> um, so, so you do not wake up on the second night. <laughs> <laughs> so um, you guys reconvene Yep. at the respite? They make a hell of a breakfast. Yeah, so over breakfast, I lay out the plan to go uh, take the Tempest on a like cruise Banks. under my my command. To the island with the Does mind. the captain know yeah. you're in command? Yes, he put me in command. He's actually going, he's pointing out Lorath, right? Yeah, I'm pointing out Lorath, but, but you, no, Lith. 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 Well, they're within 
a couple days sail of each other. That's the you want to go to Lorath. La yeah, I'm supposed to go to Lorath. You want to go to Lorath? Destiny is. Which well, um, if I was charting the course oh. from where we are, <laughs> mm -hmm. which one is actually closer? Lorath is closer. What does well, it make sense? Let's to hit Lorath first. It's on the way. Yeah, it's on the way. To hey. hell. We're going to die there. Seems fine. We're not going to die there. I don't think so. Why would you die under there? my wa under my command, we will be fine. Yeah, the one with the, the red dragon in it? No. No, 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 no. no. We're not going to that one. That's what I mean. No, the no. the this goddess got the of beam. the sea is going to protect us. It's got the ruby beam thing going. It's on. fine. This is the this is the the ruby island. Him oh. leading. Do you think I'm going to send you to the volcanic red dragon island? He might want to go there. <laughs> you keep not saying you're my black flag. You keep saying we'll be fine. It's fine. <laughs> I'm just probably going just going to have to drink a lot. And I get up to go get something else to drink. <laughs> All right. Okay. So you, you're setting out shortly after breakfast, right? Well, I mean, if we're ready to go, we're ready to go. Before we go, um, you ready to I go? have a cast. Ready? I'm going to talk to the church about getting a couple of heal potions. I'm going to um, need all of that. And I'll uh, you for two. And you go find uh, the fir my, <laughs> find my first mate. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go buy Mr. Remington. <laughs> yeah, why don't you come with me to go talk to Remington? How much is cheap? Okay. All right. Uh, they will sell them to you, you for them? 40 gold pieces a piece. Okay. So I'll buy three of them. I want them to okay. live. Uh, you can come talk to, come with me to talk to Remington. Sure. We're not going yet, though, because so I Mike, actually have to, to meet somebody at the to, smithy. So, Mike, to buy healing potions? Yeah. I'm picking up the rest um, of the armor. He says that he's got one healing potion. He said, I, I had a run on these. Your friend. <laughs> Came in and bought some, and then, uh, and who, then who bought them? Your friend, Rin. Rin? Yeah. Oh, he needs them. <laughs> and then um, he gets he a lot. The, <laughs> the, <laughs> the temple hasn't been able to provide them as regularly as previously. No, uh, they have. Hmm. I'll talk to my brother about that. Okay. Um, so are you gonna buy the one? Yeah. He says uh, that'll be forty-five gold. I give him fifty. He's happy with that. Um, okay. So, yeah, and you, I, I'm sorry, I missed. Did you tell him that you weren't going to be able to go? Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. I can't go right now. I got to meet the smithy at midday. Okay. We got a schedule. <clears throat> schedule? We, nobody knew about this schedule until this morning, and I'm not even convinced that you're supposed to be in charge of the ship. I'm in charge of the ship! Let's go find Remington and we'll sort so it. say you. <clears throat> All right, let's go sort it out with Remington. Okay, so Remington is at the ship. Good. And All right. he's making uh, ready the pre the preparations. Hello, Hello slick. slick. So, uh, slick. good to see you standing upright. <laughs> um, oh, his name is Slick. Yeah. So, uh. It says the captain tells me that you're in charge on this mission. That's right. That's <laughs> right. I just want to make sure we're all on the same page and that. Uh, Wait, that's actually true? Yes. I'm the captain. He says, "I'm sure that uh, we'll, <laughs> I'm sure that we'll have a great voyage with you being captain of the I, I have no doubt. I have my issues with humans. I, I at expect times, it, but uh, he doesn't sound like he's telling the he's truth. He's not human. He's what half he? orc. He's half orc. Yeah. Okay, then never mind. Then I'm good with him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not. I'm not good with most people. But so." Uh, I check out how we're doing on provisions. Are we gonna have enough? This is everything is loaded, okay. ready to sail. I lay out what we're where we're going, so make sure we got enough provisions sure. for Absolutely. there and back again. Absolutely. Okay. Um, and then uh, I'd like to be able to set sail, say one o'clock. Uh, high seas right now. It'd be best to leave right now. But you're the captain. Well, unfortunately, one of my crew members is not uh, quite ready yet. We wish to, to go with the blessing of Umberley, after all. All right. Or so I've heard. I mean, sure, we're going to lose half a day, but it sounds fine. Hey. Who's the captain around here? You are. Apparently. Thank you. I get the ship ready it tells to go. The crew, hey. Uh, also, I have some. Uh, I have a request for the, um, the over there by the bridge there. Um, I need a <laughs> stool. 
It's a stainless. It needs a box. I need a, yeah. a sailing Corbin. Box. It's gotta be it's out loud. <laughs> <laughs> he turns to <laughs> He turns to the dwarf at his side who you know is Grim Bernadette and he says, Can we get an apple crate for the captain to stand by? Oh. And also he wants to sail at low tide. So that's going to be difficult, but I think we can make it happen. That was funny. And they start they continue to load like animals they're loading uh, livestock onto the ship and and getting everything ready he says whatever you want captain we'll make it happen for you perfect that long thank you trip. Not All right. for that. Oh, I mean, we have a few more hours i guess okay so mm. are you going to be on a ship at one o'clock <laughs> well i mean i'm gonna go meet the smithy yeah. around midday yeah so mm. at about noon you yeah. meet the smithy and uh the smithy's like we've got this set of armor for you um it it's foam green, just like you like. Perfect. I love it. Uh, it's, we just need to do the fitting. Okay. That's going to take about 90 minutes. All right. No problem. All right. So they start doing the fitting. <laughs> you know what he didn't <laughs> You should have known. He's going to do everything he can. <laughs> and about 90 minutes later, the fitting, it's perfect. Like perfect. It, it nice. looks, it feels like a second set it's of like skin. It's like a glove. Yeah, It's like absolutely. a body glove. But it's loose enough that you could take it off super quick. I don't even think I'd sink anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, you still sink. Um, I thought so, I could sneak around, like if I could sneak around at all. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you don't, you're no longer disadvantaged when you sneak. Hey, it's Captain, one of the benefits of I don't think we're getting out of here on time today. How much gold do you think I lost to the crew at this point? Oh, are you gambling at the crew? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, roll 2d10 hours. for me. Do you ever win? Well, that's got to raise their spirits a little bit. Are, they, are you playing poker or are you playing pirate darts? Darts? Yeah, pirate darts. Uh, clearly pirate darts. Okay, so <laughs> pirate darts easy. is a game. It's ha it's It has to be done below deck. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's a game where two people stand at opposite sides of the ship and throw daggers at each other. <laughs> okay. And if... <laughs> Uh, if you hit the person, it's five points. If you hit the uh, the wall behind where the person is standing, it is three points. And if the person that you're throwing at catches the dagger, it's negative five points. So what did you get on your 2d10? Uh, nine. Okay, so you lose nine gold pieces, and you take four damage. Okay. I want to play this game. You know, if if it's a throwing game, I actually might have a chance at it. Well, I mean, you can play it out if you want. All right. So. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, okay. I'm just and, watching. And who do you want to play? So there's a there's several. Um, a dagger, you say. <laughs> I do not play. Him. They do not. <laughs> they're not gonna play with your magical dagger that appears as if from nowhere. <laughs> it's just as dark as the night sky. <laughs> Try to catch so, yeah, um, right? <laughs> Sucks your soul. Are you just grabbing yeah. random crewman number four, or are you good? <laughs> yeah, no, I just I'm trying to pass the time. Okay, so as as you begin to play, there is a um, Kenku. I was trying to was trying to think which TM version uh -huh. of the bird people is D and D. It's Kenku. Um, <laughs> Uh, Kenku comes and watches um, <laughs> this take place, um, and um, you, since you're playing random crewman number four, I will get to his stats. Um, so this is range attacks mm -hmm. versus the other person's AC. So go ahead and uh, make your roll. Oh no. Okay. So, what was your? What did you hit? Uh, so. <clears throat> Nine. Okay. So you do hit the wall. Okay. Which is good. Cool. So you get three points. Uh, the crewman makes his attack, and got a twenty. Does a twenty hit your AC? Yep. Okay. So that yep. is. Uh, we're just, you took four damage over the, top, the time of this game. Um, so he hits you. Okay. Uh, <laughs> now it's your turn. Okay. Um, he is going to um, dodge. Okay. So you're rolling at disadvantage. Okay. 
I'll take the 23. Okay. So you hit him. Roll your d4 plus your dex bonus. We need some sticky tech. Put it on your face for now. What is it? This is Apple Box. No, Doug got his octopus. Oh, his octopus. Okay. So, yes. I've got both my crate. Okay. Ouch. So he gets hit, um, and he is pretty severely injured um, <laughs> by his five damage. And the, the Kenku just starts squawking. Um, which you take to mean <clears throat> that he's chuckling a bit. Oh, okay. Um, and he, uh, he like nudges your shoulder and is like, feathers up, my friend. Uh, but he doesn't say that because, you know, mimicry. Sure. Um, Wait, and I'm like, what would it be to know about Kenku? Um, like, or Arcana? Like, I've, uh, it'd be nature. But you can make an intelligence check. And that's the same. Uh, 13. Do I know that they can't talk? You know that the only way that they can speak is through mimicry. Corvin, you're the best at this game. Corvin, you're the best at this game. <laughs> <laughs> that is so dope. <laughs> All right. Are you, uh, so it's his turn? Yeah. Okay. Are you dodging or no? I didn't know that was an option. It is an option. Yeah. I'm telling you now. Sure. All right. Uh, Dodge, dive, and dip. So he does not hit you, <coughs> and he does uh, the blade. Uh, the blade does not hit the wall, so okay. he does not score points. So you are at eight points, and he is at five. Five. Okay. So it is your turn, and he is dodging again. You sure you want to keep playing? He likes his chance. Uh, so, 13? Uh, yeah, that's gonna hit him. So, <laughs> roll your damage. <laughs> bye bye, Kangoo. Uh, so that would be seven? Oh yeah, he falls unconscious. <laughs> uh, you hit him in the leg and, and a blood starts to pool. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Don't ah! <kill> <laughs> that's... Is this how, is this the end of the game? That is the end of the game. <laughs> <laughs> so instead of losing nine gold, you gain nine gold. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> does anybody... Uh, the the Kenku grabs him and pull, starts pulling him uh, across the ship to... Um, there's a cordoned off area <laughs> that uh, he pulls him to and he... Gives you the thumbs up. He says, uh, Corbin, you're the best at this game. <laughs> <laughs> That's always true. So uh, about 1 o'clock, um, Mr. Remington comes to you, and he says, uh, we're ready to sail, Captain. Uh, just you're give the orders, and we'll set sail. Yeah. Um, I really would feel better having the Chosen of Emberly on the ship. And who's that? Well, you know, the guy that saved us that one time when we were stuck at sea in the storm. Remember that? Oh, storm? the, the and, half elf? Yeah. He's the... That's not the chosen. Well, the, you're listen the to the guy talk. He clearly, he clearly is. <laughs> but in any event, he was supposed to be here at 1 o'clock. So... Okay, well... Uh, he, give him a minute. He looks... Uh, I don't... I don't <laughs> see... All right. Sarsarel. Hold on. Hold on. Um... You said that this is now low tide, right? Yes, we're currently at low tide. Okay, so... Um, Let's wait seven hours and then go at high tide. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the so question. Sail at 8 o'clock at night. <laughs> no, no, we're not going to do that. It's fine. I've been on a ship where the captain was like, yeah, we're not going out like that. No. <laughs> Can I come up from the hole? Was it an experience? You do. Covered in blood? Covered that in blood. was the easiest nine gold I've what ever made. What the hell did you do? <laughs> I can't believe that guy just let me throw a knife at him. <laughs> For money. For money. Uh, no! So funny. So this voyage is starting off just great. Um, is there water? Just, so is you're on a boat. Out. There's lots of water. Shortly after he comes up, um, there is a, a woman, a uh, so. human woman that comes up. Yeah. And she is also covered in blood, and she's kind of <clears throat> wiping it off on her uh, her apron. Um, and she says, um, Captain. Yes? 
Can we talk about your friends? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's talk about my friends. Uh, one of our sh our crew almost died <laughs> gambling. <laughs> Typically, uh, we don't want our crew to die before I, we set sail. I would agree with that, yes. Mm -hmm. In fact, I would agree that we don't want them to die while we're at sea. You know, In at my sea, defense. things happen. Yeah. He said that was the game you guys usually played. Were you playing pirate, pirate darts? Pirate darts? God damn it. Okay. So we so have talked about pirate darts. <laughs> I had no idea pirate darts were off the table. <laughs> <laughs> They're off the table. <laughs> I want to make a general announcement. Uh, get some of the crew on the ship. Uh, uh, They're like, to, oh, okay. Go so well. top deck. 20 crew are on the ship with you guys. All right. So we're all, we're, they're all there. All right. So I address the crew, um, and I tell them. Um, I come up. <laughs> about uh, what we're going, where we're going. And well, I'm sorry. 19 crew. All right. So <laughs> the 19 crew that come out, I, uh, I tell them about the, the great adventure we're going to go on and uh -huh. how um, I, I learned from uh, very reliable sources that there will be great <laughs> Bounty and treasure where we're going, so um, and just, uh, we're all going to be rich. And uh, by the way, to make sure that we can all better enjoy our our newfound wealth at the end of this voyage, I'd like us to maybe play a little bit less pirate darts for the uh, rate of the trip. Well, so that's until, a steely command. Right so, there. so <laughs> maybe play a little bit less so they, of the game. No more, no more pirate darts until okay. we return. Okay. And then when we're uh, back here, um, then you can go to the the bar, uh, drink, and play pirate darts to your heart content. But for the rest of this voyage, no more pirate darts. Okay. And why don't you make a pirate persuasion as check? A dart. Uh, whew, well, that's, 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 that's um, I'm going to really use that. Good. Oh, he's oh, turning he's... in his inspiration. Oh. Uh, that wasn't worth it. <laughs> uh, so my, uh, let's, say it's not a uh, let's see, persuasion, that would be a nine. A nine. Um, also nine. make a perception check. <laughs> Why didn't I roll that for yes, the persuasion? Sir. That's a 16. Okay, so you see Mr. Remington rolling his eyes behind you and then kind of nodding with you like he knows it's a good idea that you guys should not be playing Pirate Darts while at sea. Oh, that's lame. I was going to play this game all the time. <laughs> I, I know you were. We'll be down to a crew like five guys by the end. Yeah, but I'll have all the gold and I can drink it. <laughs> I can drink it. So the crew nods and uh they go back to work um okay. and remington is like uh so i noticed that it is not we're after one o'clock um and your friend is still not here i mean how much after one that's like uh 120 oh, at this okay. point uh, so you've got you, 10 you're gonna minutes. show up at what in 10 like minutes 140 yeah All 140 right. is, yeah <laughs> he's gonna probably strut around town for a while <laughs> yeah, well know. Um, I'd said one, it's now 120. I, I guess we set sail without him. All right. <laughs> Guy's late. Sir, you're not going to let that happen, are you? Well, <laughs> that's his captain. That's, that's the captain. I'm loyal to captain. Kind of the captain. All right, so. <laughs> he's acting captain, which means he's, he's at least half of the captain. He's always <laughs> at least half the captain. But you're All supposed right, to so. protect your brother. Well, he's safer here than with us. <laughs> I don't know that that's true. I was going to play I'd pirate darts. Tell the, tell the he's first mate. safer. On the, on the <laughs> tell the, tell the first mate to uh, get the ship ready to uh, disembark. Okay. Um, How long is the process this day? It's going to take about 20 minutes. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm not going to have three <laughs> groups of party members. <laughs> Uh, no, that's I'll not do a full-on adventure on the island. Yeah. <laughs> Solving crimes. You're just going to be crafting potions. <laughs> Stopping so, court so race. So you get there. Pestering Botho. Very tardy. And uh, the ship is... Hello, everybody. Whoa, well, looks like... Starting to pull it. away from the dock <laughs> as you're as you're running up the gangplank. I can always Perfect. transform into a spider and web him and yank one of the boats. Yeah, exactly. I'm sure oh that God. would not freak out the Maybe. crew. <laughs> <laughs> Just drag yeah. him behind the boat. Yeah. All so right. Doug, you can ski along yes. the way. Your first day well, at get, sea. I gotta yes. get on the boat. Um, no, why don't boat. you? I'm on the boat. Yes. We're on the boat. Am I on the boat? Roll oh, me. Man. Grab by my. Uh, some percentiles. Hey, All everybody. Right. Um, that, he's hey. not there. Oh, well, then why did I put him on there? I, I don't, don't know why he's You're not. safe now. 
I'm the chosen of Upperly. <laughs> All right, you say your That's say nice the summer. whatever it's, prayers you're supposed to to make sure we make a. It's not constricting at all. It's actually very, called birds. Very comfortable. Mm-hmm. Um, I have like seagulls. I mean, look, I can do jumping on my shoulder. Seagull comes in. Woo! Can I borrow this way? Yeah. <laughs> all right, so eighty-five uh, percent. 85%. Oh, that's good. All right. We hope. <laughs> so as you're sailing out of the harbor yeah. and, um, and <laughs> off into the distance. Uh-huh. You crash into. No. <laughs> you <laughs> you spot a pod of dolphins. Hey. <gasps> cool. Um, good luck. In the water swimming yeah. along with the ship. Look at okay. them. And you can transform to a um, yeah. um and um, Sarsarel would tell you that that is definitely a sign of good luck. It's a, it's a good omen. Of course, it's a good omen. I can't speak with sure animals. Make sure that everyone in the crew knows we've got this good omen as we're uh, getting out of here. I can't, I can't speak with animal. Oh, <laughs> really? The, uh, What's up, man? The dolphin. <laughs> what you doing here? <sighs> you talk like they do. Hey, can you throw uh, some female crew members into the water? You know the dolphins rape people, right? That is that is real world canon. That is a real thing. <laughs> <laughs> that is a yes. They learned it from humans. Yeah. Pods and that males. Is, that is real world canon. So they're like, hey man, we no. see some women on your ship. No. Anything going on? Anything? Just I, swimming. I think we should kill the dolphins. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. No, no, you, <laughs> you already shot the bird. He doesn't necessarily translate all of this. No. Yeah, so I just have a conversation okay. with them. Yeah, they're, they, they talk to you. They're, uh, uh, they they bird really bird haven't... Going. They don't have... A, it's kind of like Aquaman talking to the fish. They don't have a whole lot of things to say. And while dolphins are very intelligent, um, they're animals. mostly interested in like small fish that they can yeah. eat. So. Any uh, no threats currents. or dangers? Uh, no, no. Um... Haven't seen any um, any fish, fish you. people anytime soon, so we're all good there. Uh, occasional shark, but they don't they don't mess with the pods at all. So cool, thank yeah. you. Cool, gives you two fins up. Okay. And swims off. There we go. <laughs> um, I picture that when he's talking to the he fish, sounds like he's that. yeah, he's <laughs> commu- yeah. <laughs> I'm just, you should have bribed him to hang out. Oh, oh that's, that's a good omen. That's a good sign. Hang out under the ship to make sure nothing can attack the bottom of the ship. We're just tempting so, the Tempest. Um, Don't do that. I go under, I go the, under the ship. We're on board the Tempest. Yeah, tempest. I'm not needed. <laughs> I've seen how this story ends before. So, um, do you. Uh, do you mingle with the crew at all the first day? I do. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm sure. Well, you know the crew. Yeah. Um, yeah, you're part of the crew. So I will give you, because Sirk and uh, and Xenos are part of the crew, I will give you just kind of the lowdown on who's who's doing what. So there is uh, Comstock Remington. He is a half-orc, that first guy. mate, Yep. Uh, known as Mr. Remington among the crew. Uh, Grim Bernadette, who is his um, favored uh, bosun and master at arms. She is a dwarf. Um, and she does not have a beard. Um, there is uh, Stockton uh, Smith. He is the ship's cook. Um, and uh, there is Nevermore and Poe. Um, they are two uh, Kenku. Um, one is the Brand quartermaster, news? and the other one is the master gunner. Um, it Which is, one did he stab? Uh, no, it wasn't one of the He was just there. watching. Oh. He was just watching. Okay. Uh, it was Poe. He, he met Poe earlier. Um, it's weird. You kind of wonder how Nevermore is a quartermaster, being that he can only mimic. But it seems like an interesting... Uh, job for him, and then there is Handsome Maisie, who is the ship's surgeon, who you've met, uh, because she uh, has a blood-covered smock, thanks to Corbin. Um, so, um, 
Over the course of your journey, I figured you could probably interact with these people and um, depending on how things go is is kind of how they will decide who would be the next, who would be a good fit for the next captain. Okay. Um, so over the first day. I mean, it could be me. It could be you. Doug, your yeah. character doesn't have a water vehicle proficiency, correct? Nope. So nope. who is who is sailing the ship for you? Um, do you have? I do. You do. Okay. Um, uh, Mr. Remington has a water I, vehicle. I I know he does. Well. Um, but yeah, what's that he seems to have a hard time staying upright in boats. Uh, keeps slipping and sliding. Almost so a giant. Has half orc comes and slams a great axe into the ship. I think we're okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... I cut the boat in half. I, I'm going to rely on Cirque because I can't imagine that Remington is going to want to see this, see me succeed as captain. Okay. All right. You're relying on Cirque. Yeah. All right. Yeah, my, 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 some good, my good some buddy Cirque. Captain Do you have there. survival? Do I have survival? No. Okay, so you can't plot a course. Nope. And you can't sail the ship. <laughs> nope. I can do, but you are I the captain. I, I am the captain. Course. I can do plot the course. Okay. See, I know I know people. What's your survival? Seven. Okay. See, I have a seven in survival right there. <laughs> so there's my navigator. So True how, navigator how do you want to do this? Because um, do I will be straight up with you. Doing this out in front of the crew and like delegating all of the duties probably isn't a great look. So do you want to adjourn to the captain's quarters? I would, yeah, I'd go to the captain's quarters okay. with the map to, to plot the course. Sure. Right, so okay. you would help me with that. And then at the Are you there at the too, helm? Or? Yeah. Are you going to the cap? Yeah. In the cabin, okay. okay. So Remington can... Uh, yeah, can, he can oversee while we're he, he while we sail the plans, ship while you're And then we go your... back up, and then you can help steer the ship. Because I'm short. Sure. And I like to point anyway. Right. And... You make sure once, I, once I've got the right everything direction. I've got plotted, yeah. I'll just go and sit somewhere and okay. make sure that things stay on track and, and let and you, you know. You do your thing with Emberly to make sure that the, the, oh, yeah. the okay. blessing is okay. upon the ship, and you know, and you don't kill anyone. <laughs> <laughs> All of us have tasks. Reasonable. This was not in the pre-sailing discussion. I believe it was I feel, actually I with feel the whole like no pirate. Maybe I'm um, a Shanghai at this point. No Can pirate darts. No pirate darts. Sea. No pirate darts equals no killing anyone. So Frank, you've got advantage on your uh, survival check because okay. Circa is, is helping you make your plot your course. Yep. So yep. go ahead and make that. Oh, that's going to be a sixteen. Okay. Uh, you think you've got a pretty direct course plotted? Okay. Um, it's. I mean, it's not, you didn't get too fantastic of a number, so right. there might be faster courses, but Waze is telling you that this, I mean, there's traffic in the other lanes, so here. So I, I relay to you. I'm okay. like, this is the way to go. Okay. Um, I'll, um, I'll be. So, good. About, I'll be about in case I notice something so is off or something. Be at the king of the world position where you stand out in the front of the. No, that's me. No, I'm going to find a spot where there are very few people. Okay. And kind That's of loud. easy to do on a pirate ship. Oh, you could go up in the yeah. Oh, crow's nest. Yeah, yeah crow's nest. Do you want to use one of your shape changes to get up there easily, or are you going to make a climb check? What's a climb check? Athletics. Athletics. Ah, oh, what the hell? I'm big and lumbering. Yeah, I'm just sure don't do don't it. freak anybody out. That's what I ask. Yeah, twenty. Okay, so yeah, you're able to. Climb I climb up, up there. there. Good. Um, is there is there a dude already up here? Oh yeah. Um, so the. Uh, Kenku that he was talking to, Poe, is up there. Oh, and they mimic, don't they? Yeah. That means he won't talk to you if you don't He turns to you and he says, Corvin, you're the best of this game. <laughs> Nobody's told him otherwise. <laughs> oh, man. Nobody said anything else to these guys in a couple hours. What do you say? <laughs> Tell him the Xenos is a great captain. Let's get him repeating that. <laughs> Um, well, they can't say anything unless they repeat it. Well, I mean, you don't know what he's heard previously. It's like a parrot. Ah. Like, oh, he knows goodness. other things. He is a, an intelligent being. He's, <laughs> okay. I don't know if he's as 
wise as you are, but he's got <laughs> an intelligence to take it, right? So he's telling, he's basically telling you, oh, hey, you're a friend of Corvin's. Right. Ah, I say, yes, I'm a friend of Corvin's. And, and he says, animal? it takes two to make the thing do right. <laughs> and then he continues to look off on, on the ship. And then I will let him be and continue <laughs> to look off on the ship. All right. Speak with animal, man. <laughs> oh, no, that would not go well. Um, okay, so uh, the, Doug Zenos yep. has the course plotted. Yep. As far as anybody knows, he did the plotting, I guess. That, well, yeah, that's oh. a six on my uh, deception. deception. <laughs> that goes the other way, Captain. Yeah, so. You, okay. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, huh? I know what I'm doing. Um, <laughs> oh, and uh, a whole bed this time. <laughs> you you give out the orders. Um, yeah. So you're you're kind of doing that. Why don't you make a persuasion check to give out the orders? All right, so my persuasion is 12. Okay. So uh, the crew snaps two, starts sailing in that direction. Good. Um, Smooth sailing, um, thunder aside. Smooth sailing. Thunder okay. aside. Okay. Um, Keep my eyes on the weather. Cirque, uh, why don't you make a water vehicle proficiency for me? And that's just the proficiency bonus plus a d20, right? And your de your dex. And it's dex? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's dex base. Seven. Uh, okay. Because I rolled a three. All right. Because me on a boat. So. I've now rolled a two. And a three. I mean, your name is Shipwreck. So, <laughs> you put Shipwreck yeah, in charge of the book. To, to make that check or no? No. Uh, so how proficiency works is anybody can make a check like this, but if you're proficient, you're better at it. You um, don't get the plus. You don't get whatever your proficiency, you don't get your bonus, proficiency is. bonus is. So if you wanted to make, I think, is uh, survival wisdom? Mm -hmm. Yes. So you could make an untrained wisdom check. Okay. But what's and or an untrained dexterity check to. Um, to but pilot you're, the you're ship. Roll, you're rolling a, at a plus four, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So. And I would be at a plus three, so. So I, you I can definitely pirate the sh uh, pilot the ship if mm -hmm. you want to, but okay. you're not as good as it as Mike's character right. is. Um, well, if I was given the right directions. You got the right direction. The map was pointing the right way. I might have been doing better. Okay. So, uh, so the day, uh, the day goes without incident. Um, is there anything that anybody wants to do before we I move talk on to, to the next? The ship's surgeon. Okay. Uh, Handsome Maisie? Handsome yeah. Maisie. She, um, she says, How can I help you? I just wanted to say again that I had no idea pirate darts weren't on the Oh, line. it's fine. Pirate darts are allowed, but typically not on days where the ship is being launched. <laughs> See, I but don't know these uh, the guy you were playing with is quite dumb. Um, yeah, but don't worry, um, we've, we've made all of the, he's stable, and he should be back up and moving around in a couple of days. Oh, well, that's, <laughs> of that's days. good at whatever. Um, <laughs> I, I honestly, I don't Honestly, I, I barely remember it was a person that so I So Maisie is, um, she's attractive, um, she has, uh, red hair. Uh, typically wears a tricorn hat and some uh, leathers. Um, what typically what you would think of uh, not pinup fantasy pirate art, but like close to it. Around close, the close, but not like the crop top. And oh, sure. With the full-on sailor's jacket that's open. Um, so yeah. Oh. Okay. Is there anything um, else you wanted to... Yeah, I wanted to ask her about any lore that she has. Pirate lore. Okay. Um, mainly looking into goblins and hobgoblins. Okay. So, um, she says the only um, hobgoblins and goblins that sail... These seas are uh, the Legion of the Ember Flame. Okay. But she is familiar with them. They fly a, um, a red banner um, with orange flames on it. All right. So she's aware of them. Cool. Well, I'm just going to see how much of her time I can take up with that and then start drinking. Okay. If she wants to drink... She'll drink a, a few with you. So cool. she she chats to you, uh, chats with you for about forty five minutes, and then over the course of the time, 
you drink a little bit. Those seagulls, man. Um, so don't. I tried to the, shoot that's him. That's nature. Was, Stop. It's <laughs> nature. Um, it nature insane. alone. And uh, and then at that at that point she's like, I gotta go check yeah, on yeah, the absolutely. guy that you've critically wounded. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could help. I, she's not. She's not a cleric. So she's just a person just, trained yeah. in medicine. Yep. <laughs> she's a rogue. <laughs> Uh, I mean, how essential is this crew member? Case, Every I mean, crew member. He essential. was crewman number eighteen. I so. he was four. Oh well, I'll go down. Oh, crewman four, number four. See? Oh well, then that yeah. is he's much more even essential. The end, he's way down. higher up. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't even have a name. So, I will say to uh, to the oh, guy I, up there. I take that back. Maisie does have some spells. So. Oh okay. Well, to the guy I'm up there with. Oh? I say, um, what do you think of what's your name? Xenos. What do you think of Xenos? Mm. <laughs> Should he be captain? <laughs> the crew downstairs laughs. I say, uh, I think he might turn out to be a good captain. <laughs> he, uh, see, I was thinking, like, 80s hip hop songs is how these guys communicate, but I can't think of a good answer for that one. Um, if you come up with something, fans <laughs> just don't understand. Um, if you come up with something, all uh, right, feel okay. free to chime in. All so right. he he goes. It's, it seems like he's busying himself with looking out rather than uh, offering this. his opinion of what's going on. I tell him, I say, you can be honest with me. I understand the urban flow of nature, and if you don't think that he should be captain, then just say him. All right. Um, yeah. He says, free your mind. The rest will follow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Wow. A little in vogue, huh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Howard, what is... Uh, so you're... I was going to go you're down gonna... and help heal the sure. crewmate, but if she doesn't need help... Well, then... she, she'll accept your help. Okay. Um, uh, because she only has first level spells, so. Um, I mean, first level spells is enough to heal up a. Well, she's only got three NPC slots, parent. and she doesn't. She, who knows what's going to happen the rest of the who day? Who knows she what kind of troubles he knows? You don't want to blow the whole day's worth of spells on one injured idiot. So Who's she's not that bright. That is still pretty freaking comical. <laughs> she uh, yeah, she not? accepts your help, and <laughs> together you're able to get him up and around okay. fairly quickly. Oh, Perfect. The, um, you should not get stabbed. Doctor's orders. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I consider not getting as, stabbed. <laughs> as you guys are working together, um, she uh, talks to you about mm. just how um, her main concern is for the crew and keeping everyone... Um, up and able, yeah. um, and your friends have not made that easy for her today. <laughs> but well, Corbin's um, a dangerous individual. Yeah. Yeah. What do you know about Corbin? Uh, I know that he's ill-tempered. <laughs> okay. Uh, seems to be pretty capable in a fight. Ooh. And uh, are you saying he's a bad boy? Well, I I haven't checked his alignment or anything, but. It wouldn't what, surprise me. What's an alignment? <laughs> <laughs> Whether your tires go forward. She's like, interesting. <laughs> or, they, interesting. or you just turn to the left, you just lift to the right. Um, well, she does that. If you watch him walk, he's just going <laughs> to... So, I really don't know that much about him. I mean, I, I know Xenos because uh, he's been hanging out with my brother Cirque for a long time. Yeah. Uh, and obviously, I mean, there was that incident where I saved the whole ship. The entire ship. Yeah, I remember that at uh, that oh. time. Yeah. Yeah, and I was still just an acolyte when that happened. So. Sure, sure. Wow. Um, so you guys chat for a while. Why don't you make um, a charisma check? Like a persuasion? If you're if you're proficient in persuasion, you certainly can. Oh, ah, she five. was nothing else to uh, do with you. Five. So um, <laughs> the conversation at that point is a little brief uh, and a, a little brusque and. Um, and then she she tells you that she has someplace else to be. <laughs> Should I make a perception check? The guys don't want me to be captain. Mm-hmm. If you want. All right, to. a twenty-three. I don't think the crew wants you to be captain either. Okay. You well, she she definitely greatly. appears to have someplace else to be, 
and um, while she really is, sure. um, while you're, she's kind of like getting you out of the, she's gussing herself up. Ooh, she's getting pretty for some money. Yeah. So, um, sir. Sir. <laughs> uh, is there anybody like there are other sailors that can uh, pilot the ship? Not your captain, but other sailors. <laughs> I can pilot him. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> with his role, I don't no know that you necessarily want to be responsible for piloting because uh, he did not roll great. Um, so, is there anything else you want to do throughout the course of the day? Oh, uh, you can take eight hours and then go off and do other stuff if you want. I think of what else I would do on the ship because pirate dice or darts are out. Pirate darts are out. So sorry. Take away your phone. He was Pirate all fire. in it. For I mean, until he's in bed. Um. I really want to just stab somebody. <laughs> it is so amazingly cathartic. It is so I highly um, recommend. Mr. Remington <laughs> comes up and he's like, "Pirate darts are out," but the captain didn't say anything about arm wrestling. This is true. Oh. That's, we we won't hurt that many people doing that. No, why? We wouldn't hurt any people doing that. Um, why don't you make a wisdom uh, check? Twelve. Okay, so you remember that the way that they arm wrestle is to put a barrel, a large barrel, on deck. <laughs> and then um, they shove uh, either glass or knives into the lid of the barrel. And then they arm wrestle on top. Yeah. That's why I'm on top. So oh! You're aware of so. that. That is what they do. We need hands to sail, sir. So. Yes, but if you win... It's not your hand getting cut. It's true. But we need all work. hands on deck. Is Maisie working? Busy tonight. Uh, last I saw Maisie, she appeared Ooh. to have other plans. So we should probably not do that. I mean, hmm. if you're afraid. No. Oh, I'm not. oh. clearly double dog there. <laughs> oh, clearly double dog there. Oh. What is your flaw? Get a barrel. <laughs> I look down. For the audience at home, what is your flaw? Uh, once um, someone questions my courage, I will not back down. <laughs> Period. It's, it's almost like this guy knows your character. Right. Yeah. Almost. Huh. Yeah. Well, that yeah. night did break his boat. Um, yeah. Okay. So the barrel, a barrel is brought up. Knives are put into the lid of the barrel. Oh, I come down. Flip oh. it over. I, what, I'm like, where's uh, Marvin? Where's Zenos when all this, this is game? going on? Uh, I don't know. Where is Zenos when well, this is going on? I was on the top of the pirate <laughs> deck. Sure. I mean, you can is see it's on the deck. Check? I mean, uh, it's an ability check. Strength strength checks are if in. you're the guide if flame bolt on the spells barrel. on him, that's going <laughs> to be... Flame bolt on the barrel? <laughs> you're going to blow up the barrels. Oh, no, it's on fire. That's... Thanks, yeah. Captain! Honestly, in my arcane so, um, research... Captain, uh, uh, Mr. Remington... Yeah. It's uh, metal? It's yeah. metal barrel? Make sure that all everything is set up. Yep. And then he says, okay, Bernadette, come on over. And uh, the dwarf is going to be who you're arm wrestling. All right. They, I, get a, they get a small apple box for her to stand on so that she can <laughs> put her uh, <sighs> arm on the barrel. I'm now, now I'm down watching. And... Oh, I'm, uh, I give her a... a, I'm, a are you going to rage during this? No... All right, cool. That's I don't think I'm. I'm must be dangerously close to sober because that looks <laughs> like a bad idea. We got daggers <laughs> and fire. Whoa. Ten gold on Cirque. <laughs> Stop. So um, I put money on Cirque. <laughs> Damn, that's not a good idea. <laughs> so sweet people to stop. So I got no. a ten on yes. persuasion. It stop. is one d two plus strength modifier damage if you lose. Okay. Okay. Um, so Bernadette, um, is, she's, she puts her hand up, yeah, up there. Are you doing first. anything to stop this? Yes, I put the barrel on fire and I yelled stop as loud as I possibly could. You rolled a 10 on this person. I did. No, okay. there goes my gold bag. <laughs> we got nothing else to do. We're There's back. plenty of other things to do. Like what? She says, Bernadette says. Get out of chess game. <sighs> oh. <laughs> 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 Mm, All right, I'm gonna need that. What? Cast. You go find the chess game. Well, the quartermaster's got three sets of it in the, the hole, um, but three pieces. Poe, 
He says, what does Marcellus Mollus look like? <laughs> <laughs> and then he points to Xenos. <laughs> oh! <laughs> All right. So Xenos has got to have some ideas of so, pirate, yeah. of things that they could do. You should roll. So on typical, the ship typical that would games not that are performed. Mm -hmm. So That's not going to kill anyone. There are, there are three games that are them. common on the ship okay. other than pirate, da uh, pirate okay. uh, darts, which has been outlawed. Right. And so there's arm, arm wrestling, arm, which apparently is So dangerous. there's arm wrestling. Uh-huh. It's no. not that dangerous. It's 1d2 damage. It's 1d2 damage. Plus what? the strength, the What's winner's the strength Plus modifier. the strength modifier, yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, okay. what what's the strength what, modifier? What else you got? Four. Yeah. So it's six damage. Max of six keep, damage. Keep going. What are so the there's uh, hog lob, yeah. which, which is? is a a greased pig skin okay. that is filled with uh, lead ingots. And uh, tossed <laughs> on the deck, uh -huh. and the person who gets the uh, the hog from one section to of the ship to the other gains points. So this is football. I mean, with a greased football, sure. Okay, and full a of greased lead. Full, full of lead. <laughs> um, Somebody could fall overboard. That's uh, as far happened in the past. Okay, the and then there's heave. The what's this, what's heave? Heave is a drinking game. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like one you're familiar with. Well, I'm ready to lose all night long. <laughs> this one. So it is played with rum and takes place between any number of pirates who bet on the winner beforehand. Each pirate drinks a half a pint rum in one swig. Well, I could play this game. Uh, doing so forces the participant to make a DC 15 constitution saving throw mm -hmm. and, or have uh, damage dealt by the rum ration um, increasing by uh, one. So every round, if you don't, if you fail the save, you take one. Uh, this DC increases by three for each consecutive drinks and the pirates uh, take turns <coughs> drinking until only one uh, is left standing. So... So there's three three games. Let him do the barrel. Let him do the the barrel. barrel is the least <laughs> dangerous. <laughs> um, can we do the can we do the arm wrestling without the glass? Well, that what is no the fun sense. in that? Grim Bernadette says. <laughs> well, and she's the one who's putting I'm her just, hand in. I'm it. just thinking of poor Maisie here and having to patch you guys up after you bleed to death. Oh, uh -huh. um, we uh -huh. will patch up. we'll be fine. We sleep it off. <laughs> we sleep it off. Survival of the fittest, right? So I, so I come over okay. to the captain, yeah. and right. I'm like, I let them play. They should play something. I agree with that, but I Back don't want them. them killing each other. They won't kill each other. <laughs> this was Remington's idea. You know I don't like people. <laughs> I don't want to be on this boat. But if you want to be captain, I think you'd better let them be pirates. Well, yeah, I have to let them be pirates. Um, and if they don't spill is he a even a pirate? Blood. So Method Man thinks this is Pirates of the Caribbean meets uh, Over the Top. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh, it's um, if they had a love child. Sure. Yeah. Cirque's right. got to turn his hat backwards. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> is Cirque uh, or is is Corbin gonna play uh, a drinking game? Heave this uh, evening or no? I don't know. Okay. All right. Let them. That's night two. So you're gonna wrestle arm wrestle Grim Bernadette. Yeah. All right. So while they're while they're doing it, she's like, "Oh yeah, <laughs> ten gold uh, back on him." <laughs> all right. So um, go ahead and make a strength check. It's opposed by her strength. Ooh, she rolled well. And I did not. Okay. I have doubled my previous roll though. Oh, good, good, good. Um, so Bernadette oh, okay, think, got no, it's two, three, a now it's four now. twenty-one. I got an eight. Okay, so, so I you, take a D two plus you take, four. Uh, plus three. Plus three. She's not as strong as you are. Okay. So you can roll. Oh, alright. This. You. Unless I throw it on the floor somewhere and it's black and I can't see it. Okay. Cow chops and so, Shad's carpet. So, four damage. And she says, <laughs> again? Yeah. Alright. Nothing else to do. Are you going to rage this like time? You. Or no? No. Alright. Ten more. <laughs> so you lost ten. <laughs> I will bet ten on me as well. Okay. And I'll, I'll put it on... Just for her. So sure. To... Sure. Uh, 20. 16. All right. So roll again. Mother. Is she raging at this? No. No? <laughs> no. She's just doing really good? Yeah. 
I've got it. Uh, I rolled an 18 at the first round and a 17 in the second round. So she's she's Please due. Roll the nine. <laughs> she's due for a, right. another one. 20. Oh. oh. You lose again. You owe me ale. Oh, that's fair. All right. Are you raging this time? No. All right. Ooh, 10. 19. Okay. Uh, so why don't you roll, your da- uh, roll the damage for me? So one, two, and three, and four. So two, so she takes five, five damage. Oh, okay. Oh. She's like, all right. <laughs> Thank goodness. One more time. One more? Yeah. All right, ten more on Cirque. Okay. You see a look in her eye like she's going to she's gonna win this time oh, by hook oh. or by crook. So. Last, last one. That's right. So she, ra- she, no. She's raging. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I rolled sh- like shit. Eleven. Or eleven. So her total is uh, 12. 50. Oh, you beat her. It doesn't really matter what the last part of the damage is because I it don't just, think you're going so to fight to the no. Oh, so <laughs> she, she takes uh, four, <laughs> and, or three. Three. And uh, she's like, I'm pretty good at that. Pretty I good. lead into you, I and I'm like, I lead that. into That's you, and I'm like, congratulations. So I won two out of, so she won more than I did, right? She, she won two, and I think you won two. So oh, yeah, you guys two split two. the diff. All right. Oh yeah, then we both won. Congratula- <coughs> Congratulations. Thanks. We're even. Now can we like maybe start up a card <laughs> game or something? No. Drinks. Just, just, yeah. All right. Like go drinks. Drink. Oh, there <laughs> we go. Now we're talking. So as <laughs> you're <laughs> heading off to drink with the, with the group, uh, oh, Maisie's man. like, "Hey, uh, why don't you come with me? I've got something to show you below deck." Oh, yeah. <laughs> Rain check. <laughs> and I go, like... Um, do you, are you trained in acrobatics? <laughs> I'm not trained, but I got a bonus. Why don't you make a dex, dex check for me? <laughs> or con. You can make dex or con. I'll, I'll, I'll let you choose. No death I'll go with it. Uh, 12. 12. Okay. So... Is she human? She's human. And he's human? He's half elf. Yeah. I, lo- I look human. Oh, look human. Um, she's not that impressed, but <laughs> that's not what I was expecting. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's. Uh, I mean, it was it was decent enough. <laughs> okay. Um, Why don't you make a persuasion check as well? Sure. <laughs> this could make up for Howard's crappy persuasion. Check. Nineteen. Okay. So yeah, you you. You get her back on, on the on her good side with uh, you know you showed a fair performance and then uh, the aftercare was nice. So. <laughs> I'll start. She's I'll like, start going through sea stories that I know. Oh okay. And Great. start like the exciting ones or whatever. Sure. <laughs> I need to switch it up because that the seagulls man the seagulls <laughs> seagulls man. Uh, okay. <laughs> So day two, uh, Xenos, I need to I need you to roll me uh, personals. Okay. Yeah, what's the weather like? Uh, Thirty four. Thirty four. Okay. Um, all right. So, um, Renny, you making a survival check for me? Yes. Okay. Make sure we're still on course. Okay. Just rolled my navigation check. There you go. Twenty one. Okay. So you <coughs> notice that you're about. Four hours off from where you should be, when the course that you plotted. Okay. Um, and basically, what that means is Mike's piloting check was not so great, and mm-hmm. uh, he didn't follow your instructions as closely as you would want it. And so, it's not terrible, uh, but it's not optimal either. So. So, Shad. Yes. With a um, seventeen insight. I sure. think insight would be appropriate. Yeah, insight is definitely um, appropriate. To pick amongst the crew who would be the best pilot to steer the ship. I mean... Of the crew. Depending on... Not not Remington, but... Oh, okay. Um, well, I Zark. mean... <laughs> yeah, clearly. <laughs> That's... Of the crew, so... Yeah. Um, the You know that sailing is... In this, for, for metagame, sailing mm-hmm. is based off of decks. Right. And your master gunner, Poe, yeah. has probably got a pretty decent dex yeah. if he is manning the ship's ballistas mm-hmm. during a fight. Yeah. So um, as long as he's proficient in sailing, um, he would probably be the number one choice. Okay. Um, 
who's the number two choice? Uh, number two choice um, would be, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, his brother's no good. The cook is decent. Uh, Bernadette is okay. Um, there's not, there's no one that really, I mean, no, circus. As good as anyone else? Yeah. All right, Cirque. Okay. Um, 21? Okay. So I let you know that your course is slightly off. <laughs> How do you do this? Do you quietly or do you... In the captain's know. cabin, when yes. we're going over things, so you're plotting, that's what we're you're doing. doing the thing with the little... Yeah, so, I, the, so I'm up on the deck. The widget that draws the circles so on So I'm up maps. on deck and I'm looking around and I get it. I'm like, okay. So then when we go in mm -hmm. to have our regular powwow, I'm mm -hmm. like, uh, we're off by about four hours. What is that little... Sexton. Text. So I was going to say compass, but... <laughs> if you're in math class, then yes. Yeah. It's the thing that draws circles and so makes I give holes you, and notebook I kind of give you kind of how to adjust okay. to get us back on track. Okay. So. And you need that your that check, sense. so you're, you're good for the day. Okay. Um, so... Um, it's the best sailing I'm going to do all day. Yeah, so, <laughs> all right. so you, you guys fly through the next day. Um, Are your hit points are back anything? Up. Yeah, your hit points are back up to full. Um, oh, nope. See, crewman up. number four. Is I continue back on to deck. I continue to interact with the with the with crew. Poe. Po. Yeah, like I pick like one because I really can't sure. deal with multiple people. <laughs> so, so and that and he's typically usually up there. Yeah. where there are very few and yeah. the seagulls come and go. And I can always talk to the seagulls. That's right. So he talks to the seagulls. Too. I can talk to the seagulls. He doesn't have to cast speak with animals to talk to <laughs> seagulls because he can squawk. He's very big. He's throwing off. Is he always gravity. up there? Uh, typically. That, oh. I mean, unless there's a fight. Uh, oh. Unless there's a fight and then he's on, on deck because he's the master gunner. Um, so um, you spend the day talking with Poe. Um, he trades movie quotes back and forth with you. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, why don't you make a persuasion check talking with Poe? Oh, crap, 19. 19, okay. I truly am shocked. Over the course of the day, you get a sense um, that uh, he sails for the adventure of it um, and that Nevermore is more of the driving force between the two. He's happy to follow his brother's lead wherever, um, wherever that may take him. Can I go down and talk to the cook? Yeah, sure. Stockton? Yeah. Yeah. Um, what's I figure that brother's name again? Nevermore. Nevermore. As, since I was the cabin boy before, I probably spent a lot of time with Cook. Yeah. So, um, I'd like, like to talk to the Cook about getting his support to be captain. Mm -hmm. um, and also see if we couldn't do some sort of a special dinner for the crew for our second night out. And it seems like it's mm. going smooth sailing and, mm -hmm. you know, um, not going to kill anybody. He says, um, so why don't you make a persuasion check? That's a 13. Okay. So um, he says, you know, I don't really care who's in charge. Uh, as long as we're sailing into exotic ports, um, I'm more interested in the recipes that we're picking up along the way. Okay. Um, as for your request about a fancy meal, I can see what I can do about that. Um, if you can get me some help in here, that would go a long way to getting that done. Sure. Um, is there any particular helper that he would prefer to have? Not crewman number four. Okay. Not crewman number four. All right. <laughs> so down. once you get back out on the deck, why yeah. don't you uh, give me a persuasion check to make some orders? All right. So that's a 14. Okay. Number yep. persuasion. Yeah, you grab two guys. Okay. Say, hey, go help Stockton. Okay. They're fairly competent. The meal is, uh, is, is good. Okay. Um, good. So, anybody else want to do anything on day number two? I'll uh, make a point of congratulating Sailor number four on being back on his feet. He says, thanks, man. Yeah. You know, sorry that was a rough that. game. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> I was expecting to win. <laughs> Where, yeah. It was your first time playing Pirate Darts. Yeah, and yet, <laughs> look what happened. Uh, yeah, I almost uh, died. Yeah, that's... Uh, <laughs> 
Maybe. You do you, huh? Mm. <laughs> 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 We'll play again someday. Yes, we will. I'm going to beat you next no, time. You're probably going to die. <laughs> <laughs> he sobers up. <laughs> um, Shall we play a game of Hurl? <laughs> so, uh, so the day passes without incident. Um, sure. You, uh, Remington's like, hey, I thought you were interested in Hurl. You want to play some Hurl? Heave. Or Heave. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pearl is the end result, but the, your friends have told me you're quite the drinker. No, I'm quite the blackout drunkest. <laughs> yeah, he difference? drinks too. Well, if you things stop talking to him. If you're, um, if you drink as often as you do, I have faith that you could do fairly well. Blackout. Eve. Blackout. <laughs> so I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, I don't like to black out on boats. Really? Why is that? Because you die. Yeah. It's just a real short... You know what? We can play below deck. <laughs> and at this point, a, a number of crew members have gathered around you. And they're like, somebody, are we going to play heave? Let's play heave. I'm going to attempt to use my deception. Okay. And I'm going to try and talk them into Remington being the one who was like, I'm down for heave. Okay. So I'm like, well, Remington was just talking about how we were going to go down below decks and he was going to get this party started. I think he might even be willing to go first round without anybody going against him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 16. Okay. So, yeah, they're like, absolutely. You see that he's a little put off by this, but he's willing to willing to go. Hey, five gold on this guy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> push him forward. Right. Is uh is Maze out there? Uh she's below deck. Oh okay. Well then I will use her as an a distraction. Okay. To go sit next to her. I'm like, I've got five on Remington. Okay. She's like, oh, that's a smart bet. I don't think that any of the other crew are gonna be able to beat Remington. You uh, say you really He's a fairly hardy individual. Huh. So I'm going to hex him. <laughs> <laughs> you give him the old evil eye. Huh? Yeah. Sure. What, and, uh, what, let's, uh, let's give him disadvantage on con checks. Uh, I don't know. Disadvantage on con. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So there are probably about half the crew that's interested in playing <coughs> Heave with him. <laughs> Um, <laughs> a lot of drunk people in your boat. And, it's fine. And you would know, um, well, all of you that are uh, used to sailing would know that you really only need um, about half the crew at any one point. So um, at this point, um, it is obvious. It is blatantly obvious what's going on. Um, Doug, are you stepping in at all? Um, no, I think I'm going to let this play out. Okay. This is Remington's idea. All yeah. right. So... Remington's happy to join uh, to to play. Uh, is there in, it, are any of you playing this game with him, or is it just him? What is it? How it's does it work check. again? The con save. I will game. not be playing this game. Really? No. Con save versus him. It's a con save. No, it's DC con save. 15. It's rounds, consecutive rounds. DC fifteen. Ah, and DC what's it start 18, at? Fifteen. DC it, yeah, it starts. DC twenty four. Well, it starts. Yeah, it's <laughs> plus three every every round. So it starts at fifteen. Fifteen. And Eighteen. And twenty one. Yeah. And then 24. And then, and then you are point. unconscious. <laughs> oh, then you take damage. Yeah, if you fail, you take damage. <clears throat> and and this, and this, we're not going to play it out for the whole damage. Because I feel like that would take and a I'd long fail time. 28 times. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, and nobody wants to watch that. So... Um, anybody playing with him, or is it just I'll, um, the crew? I'll come down. Okay. I'll be like... I'll try it. You need to do it in bear form? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> if you want. We're, I'm going to try it. Let's see how the first round goes. So, right. so Remington is going to make his first con. Um, I'm going to make one for the crew, and we'll just see how they do. Uh, 
natural one. That is not a good start. That's a great start. Oh, 16, 17, 18. You're fine. You're fine. So I do that first one, <coughs> and I'm like, I, I mean, it burns. Probably stop. It it burns. Well, once you're in. Once you're in. You're, and it's till you pass out? Yeah. <laughs> I hope I don't turn into a bear by accident. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> well, we're, we're about to stop because it's oh. 830. So, oh, okay. so uh, we're going to resolve this and next get to round? the point. Um, yeah. That's so cool. uh, he is not doing well. Uh, let me roll for the crew first. Hey, um, Chad, I got a, uh, a 22 oh, shit, persuasion a to stand up and go, come on, Remington, show everybody what you're made of. <laughs> I got gold on you. Okay. So I will use, because I forgot that he had disadvantage, I will use the second roll as his disadvantage, which was worse than the first. Oh, okay. Let me roll for the crew. Uh, the crew do not do well either. Um, so it is, you're off to a clear head start. Um, no, not at that time, though. He catches up. Yeah, they catch up <laughs> kind of fast so, on that one. Uh, Remington is, is not doing well again. <laughs> so we're on the third round, so it's a yeah. DC... 21. 21. 21. No. Oh. oh, and an 18 in the second. But they're ahead of, they're around ahead of me, so they'll pass. If we keep failing at this point, they'll pass out before right. I will. Right, right. Which is so this is going to continue for damage. two more rounds. Okay. <laughs> um, if you do not fuck it up, you are going to be the clear winner. So okay. I need you to make two more checks. All right. Remington passes out. At uh, the end of the third round. Really? Yeah. <gasps> Somebody's dealing. I'm going to pass out. In the next round, okay. I don't. I don't get a I one. So there. okay, that's fine. So as long as no. you, you didn't get a one, you're you make it. The rest of the crew um, passes out the round before you do. So you have Remington and nine sleeping guards or uh, uh, pi crew members, and you and you are like <laughs> doing great. It's like the the. The Eagles have won the Super Bowl. <laughs> mm, that's not good. I believe that's a woo. And was it a, a circle? <laughs> I don't know. So about this time. So it, I got a 22 uh -huh. when Remington tanks uh -huh. in front of everybody. I'm going to like, that's a shame when someone can't hold their liquor. Uh -huh. I mean, not even as well as like, say, a four-year-old halfling. <laughs> so you get some stink eyes from a couple of people who have you notice have been close to Remington this time, and they haven't been playing the game with him. Um, you get some stink eyes from them, but everybody else laughs. So I look at you, and I go, rah. Yeah, no. <laughs> so <laughs> it's a, a, it is <laughs> late, because this is round. This is like yeah. air. drinks. Yeah, well, it's, it's probably like tens of minutes each round. So... Oh. Um, because nobody wants to die. <laughs> and these are half pints that you're drinking of rum. Um, so it's about this time when someone uh, on, t on the top deck uh, yells that there are raiders aboard the ship. And that's where we'll break for the night. Oh. <laughs> Who yells that? I was All right. down below. I wasn't down below. We'll make, no good. Oh. I'll make. I was. We'll, we'll deal. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye, everybody. <laughs>